Hi everybody and um, welcome to my first video. Today I am going to be showing you how to play the game Horrors or Howers, however you pronounce it. Okay. So in this game, basically you care for your own horses, you can breed and train them, and you can put them in competitions against other players. So my horse right here is named Reaper, and she has a special coat on, and I will show you what an average horse looks like in a minute. But the first thing I wanted to point you guys out on is their genetics. You always want a horse that has good genetics. So for her right now, she's not doing too well on her blup, which is part of the genetics, and she has negative 74.46, and you want to get it all the way up to 100. But she's still young, and I am trying to pull her up. As you can see, her stars are very well. Excellent stars are actually very important because they have to do with how well the horse is in training and how well the horse can accomplish things. So for her stamina, she looks really good on this. And pretty much all of her stars are really good. As you can see, she has 766 excellent stars, which is really good. She is 50% Arabian and 50% thoroughbred, which is actually my horse, Lucy. Um, I own an Arabian thoroughbred. Not on the game, but in real life. Um, so Reaper is a good horse. She is still in training. But I wanted to point you guys out on the genetics. Okay. So now I am going to go to my horse breeding farms. And I'm going to show you what a normal horse without a special coat looks like. So here we have a pony. This is Brownie Chip. And he is a little Shetland pony. He is actually almost done with his training. As you can see, he does not have very good stars. Um, Reaper does. And the genetics on here is better than the negative. At least we're up in a positive. But our Excellency stars are 264, and that is not really what we're aiming for. That's what a pony looks like. And then there's different breeds of horses on this game. If we go to horse sales, they have many horses on here that are for sale that are different breeds. Um, this one is very pretty and it has okay genetics. I mean it has a 47 which is good but the stars are not as well. But anyways, let's see. Okay, so we just talked about genetics. I'm going to show you the basics of the game. So every month the horse people add a new challenge on here and with these challenges you can get things for your game i'm getting a vintage apple which is a type of coat i can put on my horse and you can also win other things for example a bone silver which has to do with this and um if you go to the black market you can buy boosters for your horses here um, a Philosopher's Stone is probably the most valued thing here. This um, can make your horse immortal. So a lot of people try to trade for that. And then Golden Apples are important too because those give your horses a, um, a new coat. So it doesn't look like a standard horse. So it could be a Pegasus, it could be a Unicorn, it could be an Alicorn. Whatever you prefer. I'm going to demonstrate training on your horse. So Clouded Knight is still in training. So basically what you're going to do is when the horse has the check marks on the side, that means that your horse is completed its training in this section. So he has finished dressage, gallop, trot, and jumping. Right now I need to work on his speed and stamina. So for the speed, I'm going to try to pull it up and I'm going to make him work for two hours, and that's going to give him an 8.09 on his thing. And it actually rises as you train the stars on here rise. And so I'm going to let him rest. But as you can see, his energy bar is very low, and that is not healthy for a horse. If it gets below 20, then your horse is in very bad danger. Your horse could die or possibly wake up with an issue. So it's always good to have your horse in the yellow orangish area so it's good and if possible try to get it all the way up to a green so he's good in his health and his moral is good as well and then the next thing i wanted to show you is your office this is actually your history on here so as you can see i have a lot so i bought a horse from here i bought another horse i gave a horse to another barn 
I gave an item to somebody and they exchanged another item with me and I keep buying and buying here and so this is really good for you and the safe haven is good because um, this is for horses that cannot be kept by their owners and you can put them in there in Orin 400 equest which is, in the game is coins so you can put your horse in there if you don't want it or you could sell it in the market for a high price as you can see I have a couple of horses for sale. I have Poseidon, which he is an okay in his genetics. He has a goat, which um, is actually very good in the game because these are like vintage animals and you cannot get them anymore. He has a Philosopher's Stone. He has all of these items, so he's really good. And he's won a couple of competitions, but like I said, he doesn't really have good stars, but his genetics are good. So, I really just want to talk to you guys about genetics in this video, and in the future I will get you more into the game, but this is basically just what you should be looking for when you're buying a horse or breeding, okay? In my next video, I will show you how to choose a breed for your horse to be bred with. Bye!